Welcome. We're glad you're here today. This is a special day. We've been, uh, we've been celebrating uh, the resurrection of Christ around these parts for a little while. Uh, we think that's pretty important. And last week, if you're here, we, we read the words of Paul, which were the, uh, the earliest description of the resurrection that was written down. And uh, today is just kind of a continuation of that celebration. We didn't end our celebration last week. Uh, this, is, this is a continuation. This is Baptism Sunday. Maybe you can, maybe you can figure out the connection between those two things. Uh, Jesus' death and resurrection and uh, baptism, how these folks are going to, I'm going to bring them up in a second, are going to act out, are going to visibly display Christ's story. Death, burial, going under the water, raising to new life eternal life. So they're going to be able to, to uh, describe the, the story of Christ in, in a, a one-act, well, it would be a two-act play because there's two baptismal candidates. But what we want to do, what we like to do around these parts is to, before you get to see them tell their story and Christ's story, we, uh, to act it out, we, we bring them up here and uh, do a little interview where you get to hear a little bit of their story. And that's another connection with how we've been, um, how we've been celebrating, uh, if you want to call it the Lenten season, up to uh, Palm Sunday and then through Holy Week, is we've been reading stories of how God's power has transformed people's lives in this congregation. And uh, hopefully, if you haven't gotten one of those devotionals, um, I, I hope you, that you will. It doesn't matter that the 40 days prior to Easter is over. Read those stories of life transformation. They're really powerful. But we want you to hear a little bit uh, of today from our, our baptismal candidates of their stories. So I'm going to ask uh, Brittany and Connor to come on up and stand right over here. And you guys can uh, share that microphone. And we really appreciate them uh, being willing to do this, actually, um, you know, I kind of said this is part of it, so, so they're, they're, just come on over on this side, so you both are real close to the microphone, and um, actually, I'm going to come over here, so I'm not standing in front of you and blocking these folks, um, but um, you have the mic, so I guess uh, Connor's going first. Just a couple of simple questions that uh, you're just listening, and we're just talking, Okay. Uh, but the first one is, uh, well, introduce yourself um, and tell everybody who you are. I am uh, Connor Legg, and I am a 10th grader at uh, Midland High School this year. Okay. And Brittany, why don't you introduce your, your uh, children and your husband also? I'm Brittany Smith, and I'm married to my husband, Justin Smith, over there in the corner. And we have two children right now. We have Caden, who is two and a half, and Colt, who's almost a year. And we have a third baby on the way due um, the end of June. All right. All right. It's back to you, Connor. And uh, my family right there. I have my dad and mom, my sister Riley, and my grandma. Okay, great. Sitting in the front row with a good seat. Um, here's the first question to give them a sense of your story. Um, tell, tell us a little bit about how you came to decide to be a, a follower of Christ. Well, I, uh, I was raised in this church uh, for my whole life, but uh, I guess th my decision to come to Christ was when I was 10 years old, and it was at Warner Camp, and we were just having a church service. And then they asked anyone who wanted to uh, be committed to Christ to just come forward and pray at the altar. So I came up that day and gave my life to Christ. And Brittany, tell us a little bit about how you made a, your decision to be a Christ follower. All right. Well, um, we, me and my husband, were at home. We were actually struggling to find answers to where our life was taking us and I felt overwhelmed with a lot of the changes and responsibilities in my own life that I was starting to question you know my faith and my purpose in life um, it felt like a long time coming but I had a strong urge to want to come to church and become involved in worshiping God and learning um, to live in his saving grace 
Great. The, the next question is, okay, that's kind of how you, 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 you made your commitment to follow Christ. Why, what, what prompted you to want to be baptized at this time? Well, uh, for me, I guess it was just, I've been wanting to get baptized for quite a while, and then it's always like I would hear, you know, if you want to get baptized, you can. And then I always think about doing it, but then I would just never, like, fully commit for some reason. But then, uh, I guess after going to the uh, mission trip in Los Angeles this year, I just guess I gained, like, a lot of courage and just, like, strength to live out a little bit, live out louder in my faith. And so then, the next time, when I heard that we could uh, be baptized this time, I just went up and told Aaron that I wanted to do it before I would back down, so I knew I had to. <laughs> You had opened your mouth. It was, it was a done deal yeah. at that point. So you told Aaron, and Aaron told me. That's kind of how it worked. All right. Awesome. Brittany, how, what was it that brought you to this, yeah, I, I need to be baptized? Um, well, my experience was very different. I felt like um, the first morning we focused on making it to church was a very uplifting day for both me and my husband. Um, it was definitely a sign from God that brought us to this church. Um, the first service spoke to us and it gave us insight that we are desperately looking for and from that day we have truly been inspired to be more like Christ. Um, we had endured a lot of change and we didn't always know how or why but it was teaching us who we needed to be as individuals and it's invigorating to feel God's work um, reflected in choosing to follow him so I really want to be baptized and fully dedicate my whole self and learning and growing from this point on. Awesome, awesome. Um, and just so if, if you're, you guys have only been coming here for about two and a half months. So uh, if you haven't met this wonderful family yet, you, you haven't been, uh, they, they haven't been here that long. So make sure and make sure and meet them. Um, not that I don't want you to meet you, you guys, but you've been around here for a little while, and we want to meet you too, okay? All right? Grandma, we're glad you're here, all right? Um, last question is, one of the things that we do is um, that's, there's a lot of symbolism in baptism. The going under, the, the going down into the water, under it, coming back up. Um, but another symbol in, <clears throat> in scripture, uh, light, and, and fire is always a symbol of, of Christ's power and the Holy Spirit. And um, you guys each, I asked you to pick, um, for lack of a better term, we, uh, a sponsor, but somebody who has poured into your life, who has encouraged your walk with God, and that person is going to be uh, uh, your towel person, a practical opportunity for them to serve you again. They've been serving you and encouraging you in your faith, but also they're going to light a candle at this table as a, as a symbol of um, when God pours something into somebody and it overflows on us, then that, that, that blesses our life. That's more of God coming through another person. So they're a symbol of passing along the flame uh, to you and then serving you by uh, handling you, handing you your towel. Um, so go ahead and tell us who your um, sponsor is and, and why you picked that person. Uh, my sponsor is my dad, and I chose him because he's always been an example of Christ in my life, and just everything he does in his actions, in his words, they always just like lead me to Christ, I guess. And he's also been someone I can come and talk to about the Bible or just any questions I have about like the church and Christ. Awesome. My sponsor is my husband, Justin Smith, and um, I chose him because. Um, we are a family and we encourage each other to do better and so I just strongly feel that he is you know part of my inspiration we believe in each other and we believe that you know being baptized um, is a thing that I need to do to fully commit you know mm -hmm. and um, I guess that's it <laughs> thank you let's um uh, 
give them some some encouragement this is always a th- that part's the easy part other than they maybe they're afraid I'm you know I'm going to slip and not pull them back up but this is the hard part for them and we really want to hear your story and thank you so much so why don't you give them some encouragement yeah. okay. We always want to have the, our, our uh, little ones to be able to be, have the best seat and, and we'll have, obviously we're up on the screen there so everybody can make sure and see, but we wanted you guys to have a good seat. And uh, so, but we just want to make sure you st- stay back there and, and we don't want to mess with the microphone, particularly me because I'm wet. I'll stay clear of that one, okay? That's why I'm not going to touch it. But we're not going to get into electricity right now. We're going to move, we're going to move forward on, on this. But um, Brittany, based on your profession of faith as Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, um, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The symbolism still works if the candle won't light, so (laughs) we'll, we'll be okay. Step over here. Connor, based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ and your desire to follow him in baptism, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. (laughs) 